We are live again. Trouble here. We had some technical difficulties here because the Wi Fi is not good here. It goes on and off all the time. So, yeah, I was talking about this. And uh, yeah, we have some switches here. This is the mute buzzer. This is the shutdown reset. This is the fear stop. And this is the main switch that you can um, put it on, on or off. This controls the three phase power that goes into the control panel. And then uh, we use one of the uh, phases to power uh, these uh, uh, power supplies here. And this one, this is me buzzer, which we are going to cover in our video. It's going to, when there is an alarm going, like active alarm going on, we uh, push this mute buzzer switch uh, to acknowledge the alarm and also mute the buzzer so that we don't have that loud sound going on on our airs when we are like working on the panel. And this one is an uh, emergency shutdown switch, which uh, when there is an emergency situation, we can just uh, uh, turn it back. We need to see that if we want to turn it back, you need to twist it a little bit. See, you need to twist it a little bit and back. And when when you do that, you also need to push this one. After after this is on normal, you also need to push this one. This is the ESD or emergency shutdown reset. This when you push, uh, there will be some alarms uh, on the HMI system, but those alarms after you've pushed this and after everything is back in normal mode, you need to uh, push this once. We have all the alarms. Yeah, that's pretty much it about this one. And we have some other cool uh, control panels over here. Uh, yeah, you see, this is a big one uh, that is, this, this control panel is going to control a reactor. Uh, as I mentioned, we are here at uh, Pro Control. Uh, it's uh, located in North of Am North of uh, Netherlands uh, in, in a, like a village or a small city uh, called The Rape, which is, uh, was it correct? The The Reich. <laughs> <laughs> it was not? No. The, the, uh, so the Reich. How do you say that? The Reich, I think. No, it's the Reich. The no, it's the, I. The Reich, there's a P at the end, right? There's a K at the end. <laughs> anyway, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, it's called the Tech Valley of uh, Netherlands. And, yeah, you see this, like, uh, there are a lot of industrial, many, like, industrial tech companies around here, and Pro Control is one of the, uh, like, the oldest one. They have a, like, really skilled team of engineers that work like they, they have built and designed all of this. So this one is a, a SM400 PLC that we have here. This is the main PLC that we have. This is the, like a power supply. It's a 10 ampere power supply here. And this is the CPU. The CPU is CPU uh, 410 5H. And this is the rack, you see, this is the rack that we have for S7400 PLCs uh, that we can uh, put the models or, or the I.O. cards on. Now it's, it's empty. This is the AT200M. This is a, like a, a remote I.O. thing that we have here. And over here, we also have a S7400. 1500 can you yes yeah sorry. It's maybe a yeah, little cramped can, in here yeah yeah maybe you can go here and yeah you can have my voice yeah this is an s7 uh 1500 plc also and next to that plc we have an uh, ethernet switch uh, that is other remote uh io stations that we have and uh, uh, on the field robert do you want to uh michael sorry do you want to no michael sorry yeah, sure. always yeah confuse your name yeah do you want to come here yeah this is uh you can you can just go probably stay here me yeah okay. yeah yeah okay. so that you can have both of us so okay. this is michael uh this is the uh guy that is responsible for wiring all of these control yeah. panels so yeah. you, you you wired all of this yourself right uh, no this i have not done myself oh okay i've only designed it Oh, designer, like yeah. the, the... The electrical oh, drawings, yeah. I made them. Yeah. But the, the building of these cabinets were too big for our workshop. 
Oh, okay. So we spend it in the, it's another company. Oh, okay. So the other one uh, that we have there. Yeah. The next this one. This yeah. this one. Uh, uh, Michael, like uh, uh, Michael, like uh, both you both design. Design and build it. Yeah. yeah. Design and build it like with uh, these are. This is just yeah. an example. It's an example of an... Uh, how can we get this? Yeah, this is an example of the wiring diagram that we have uh, that uh, Michael designed for the control panel. And then based on these, it's, I think it was like about uh, 30 or 40 yeah, pages. Yeah, 40, 50 pages. Yeah, 40, 50 pages of like this. And we use this to uh, properly wire everything here. Uh, but this one, uh, Michael says that they have done the design and then uh, they have, uh, because it was like too big of a panel, they have asked another partner to do the uh, like installation. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And this one, you see that like the, this fan that we have here, it's, it's really, really bigger compared to the other one that we have here. That's because we have a, a bigger panel here. So we need a, uh, like, this, this one is a two-door control panel, and this one is a three-door. So that's why we need a bigger fan to uh, keep the temperature on normal level. Yeah, and can you uh, explain what you explained to me at the beginning when we got here about the other two control panels as well and how they are connected? Uh, the other two control panels you see yeah. over here. Yeah, let's, let's put this let's over. Put it aside. Yeah, here so that we have... So we have two other control panels yeah. that are going to be connected to the other one that you right. see here. So can this you This is another that control panel that's going to be uh, mounted in the unit. Yeah. Because the main cabinet will be placed around 50 meters away from the actual 50 meters away from the uh, like the fuses that yeah. we have. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So to pull 50 meters of every single one cable, that's going to be a lot of job and yeah. a lot of hassle to pull it. Yeah. So you told me that. Money. Yeah, and a lot. So, yeah, yeah. It costs a lot of money. You told yeah. me that uh, you you are going to connect. You have thermocouples. Yeah. That are going to measure the temperature of some reactors. Yeah. In reactors. Yeah, correct. And then they are going to be connected to these yeah. remote I/O stations. The remote I/O. A station. Modules, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you can you can go on. Yeah. Further. So we're going to connect on the remote I/O module, just through the hole over here. For each thermocouple, there's one. Oh, there's, there's, these are like glands. Yeah, these are glands. Yeah, that are going so to be mounted the on the on the here, bottom of the cabinet. On the bottom. Yeah. You, you haven't done that yet. No, otherwise I can't lay it on a flat uh, table. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So when okay. we're installing it at the customer, everything's going to be fitted on the side of the unit. And then they are connecting the thermocouples. And once it's done, thermocouple tested by communication with the uh, probing net. Going to just do 750. That's the next door. Okay, so uh, let's, let's finish this one. Yeah. So the uh, thermocouples are going to be, they are going to make some, can you uh, show this here, this here? So uh, we are going to make some holes here, and then we are going to put this gland in these holes. And then the wires from the thermocouples are going to get uh, into the cabinet through these glands, through these holes. Okay? And then they're going to be connected to these terminals here, I guess, right? No, the thermocouples will go directly oh. onto the I.O. module. Oh, they go directly to the I.O. modules. You can see it over here. Yeah. Move one. This is a direct input. Oh, okay. Channel 0, channel 1. Yeah, very nice. So this I.O. model has space for eight thermocouples. Eight, eight one. And you yeah. can like take this out as well. Yeah, I can right. throw it out yeah. and then just can you connect take it. it one of them mm. so that people can see how you take this out. These are, yeah. These are like uh, the terminals that are connected to the actual uh, analog input card. So yeah. yeah. This is, this is it. So you connect, it. Yeah, you, you connect the thermocouples to these, yeah. like mount them to these, and then we're going to put this back yeah. into... Don't break it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I should be careful. Okay, so yeah, yeah we're going to put it back uh, in here. And, and then like, close the cover and everything's finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then put the cover on it. And then uh, we have here these uh, 8200 amps. Yeah. that are uh, that have some um, ethernet ports on yeah, them correct 
This is going to be connected to this one, right? Yeah, it's, it's a loop. It's a loop. Yeah. So this is going to be so connected. So the last line is the S7-1200. Which? Oh, okay. This one? This one. The last in line. Oh, okay. And then from the 1200 to the ET200. Another ET200. Why do we use this one here, 200? Uh, for some here? communication protocol, I don't really know. Ah, okay, for some. So, this, this, the job of this uh, 1200 here is it's for just, just communicate. communicate. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So, it's, it's a counter for a rhythm. Oh, it's a counter? Yeah. It's oh, a counting module. Oh, okay. Okay. Counting module. So, yeah. it counts. It's a compact uh, 1200 PLC, this yeah. one. Yeah, can you, can you uh, put it closer? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This one is a like a compact twelve uh, S seven twelve hundred PLC Siemens S seven twelve hundred PLC, and uh, yeah, yeah this, through this we're going to connect this PLC to this and then to this one, yep. and then from this one we'll go all the way to the next uh, remote station that we have here. Let me put this. Yeah. Here as well. Okay. So you can so, over here. Yeah. And at the bottom of it. We have four IO racks. Oh, nice. And one going to the main cabinet. Oh, so the, these are where like we connect the yeah the uh, Ethernet cable. The Ethernet cable and yeah. like, mount it on that. We create some uh, make some holes here. Now they haven't done that. They, we've already this. Yeah. yeah we've already mount it over there. Yeah. So. yeah. The mounted over here, so we're going to install this here, and then the Ethernet cables are going to be connected to these. And uh, this one are for wires. Yeah, the, the power cables. The power cables. Yeah, yeah the power cables, cables. And then uh, the Ethernet cables from the other remote station that you saw. How many people we have live? Fifty. Fifty. Okay. So uh, yeah, for so the fifty people that are watching. Uh, <laughs> The Ethernet cables are going to be uh, connected uh, from the other remote station to this one. They, they come uh, directly to this, right? Yeah, directly to the switch. Yeah, to the switch. Correct. And then to the switch to this. Yeah, yeah to the another ET200. Yeah, another ET200. And then? And then just to the main cabinet. To All the way back to the main cabinet. Yeah, all the way back to the main switch. To this, this is this one yeah. is the main switch here. Yeah. yeah. And then from this one, like it, uh, it comes here, and then from this one, it goes here, right? Yeah, to the main POC. Uh -huh. How can we? Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is the Ethernet port that we have for. Uh, that, that's how you can connect three uh, control panels together. And, and it's like, I really like it. It's really beautiful. Okay, I think uh, we covered pretty much. We're thinking about not everything, but some of the basic stuff that we have. Here we're going to create uh, uh, like five videos about this control panel that I showed you at the beginning of uh, uh, the live show. And yeah, it's going to be live, I think, about in, in about two months. So stay tuned for that. And uh, from here, Neto, join me. Uh, have a great uh, day ahead of you. Uh, if you are in Europe and if you're in the US, I think it's gonna it's it's early morning there. So yeah.